Hi, Kia Duvan here, and welcome to a special episode of Week at a Glance. We are joined today by Gary Hudkin from Australia. He is the presenter of the Big Picture um, Sabbath School Lesson Review or Summary Series. And I'm very glad to have you in this episode, Gary. But before we go any further, could you please explain a little bit about the origin story of the Big Picture Video Series? Firstly, can I say, uh, Keo, what a real privilege it is to be able to share with you from Oz. It is one wonderful to be able to join with you. You know, this is something that God has really blessed. God has really been good. The big picture commenced uh, the quarter before COVID impacted our world. Simply put, big picture is a short 10-minute synopsis of the Sabbath school lesson that includes contemporary relevant questions that relate to the Bible study of the week. At the beginning of COVID, we did have a one-quarter break as we thought our target audience wouldn't need big picture during this time. That was a big mistake. Well, I'm very happy that you revived or restarted the big picture. I'm pretty sure that so many people are blessed by it. So with the current format of the big picture, you basically give the big picture and also the highlights of each day. And you also pose excellent questions. Now, who is your target audience and who are you trying to reach? That's easy. Our target audience is Sabbath school teachers. As a pastor, I really believe in Sabbath school. My belief is that it's, it's actually more important than the worship service. That means the study must be really relevant to our times. It needs to be responsive to the practical questions of everyday Christian living. In big picture, we're not trying to teach the topic of the week, but rather to give Sabbath school teachers an overview with questions that are super practical and sees the subject of the week applied to everyday living or trends in the contemporary Christian world. To all the Sabbath school teachers out there, this is your guy. He is trying to reach you primarily. Now, Gary, in our previous video chat, you mentioned that aside from being a presenter and also the script writer of this video segment, you also pastor a church and actively conduct Bible or evangelistic meetings. Now, how has this ministry, the big picture, blessed you and others? And what challenges have you encountered since you started this ministry? Big picture has been placed on YouTube and Facebook and the Living Ministry Media website. We get three to four hundred combined views each each week. Uh, then we have a Samoan translation that's getting an even a far bigger response. The feedback has actually all been positive. In fact, uh, the one thing that really amazes me to this point in time is I can't think of any negative feedback. The Sabbath school teachers and, yes, the others who have started to watch have just contacted me. They've just been so affirming. They say, it's short, it's relevant, and it speaks to so many contemporary issues. I believe that's incredibly powerful. I believe that so many people are blessed by the ministry that you are doing, Gary. And for those of you who are Sabbath school teachers who are, who is watching this video right now, you could go to the website of Living Ministry Media and you could download the script there and use it for your Sabbath school. And aside from that one, if you're interested in translating this video of the big picture video series into your own language, then you could contact Gary and keep in touch with him and he will guide you through the steps. Gary, you've been so good at stressing the highlights of the day and also posing questions that help for that helps a lot for um, self-reflection. Now walk us through your thought process in studying the topic and also in script writing because I believe that so many of the Sabbath school teachers will be very interested to know your thought process. This is where I feel wonderfully blessed. I found that writing scripts is really something that I personally find wonderfully relaxing. It isn't actually part of my conference assigned ministerial role. So I write scripts at other times. The process is simple. I study the lesson. 
a select two or three issues that are relevant to the, to the contemporary Christian life or who are trending in the religious press before simply sitting down to write the script. I spend about half a day in writing. Well, Gary, you make it sound so easy, but I believe um, one really needs to digest it, to understand it, and then enable for you to be able to come up with something really valuable like what you're doing. And I can see the passion that you have for this ministry. And as a pastor, you also mentioned that you have other responsibilities. Now, how does your normal week look and how does the big picture fit in it? In the South Australian Conference, I pastor the Brighton Church. That takes a bit of time. But I also produce the daily drive time program on the church-run Faith FM radio. I actually present this program every Tuesday and Wednesday. I call the series Big Q&A. You know, research for this particular program really does help me in gaining contemporary illustrations for big picture. It's wonderful to have people attending church simply because of the witness of living ministry media and Faith FM. And I'm pretty sure that your conference is very happy to have you. Aside from being a pastor, you're also doing this media ministry. And apart from the good content that you present, I noticed that the quality of your videos in terms of lighting, audio, and also the background is really, really good. Now, who are the people, aside from you, of course, who are the people behind the big picture? Very good question. Big picture is actually produced by living ministry media who function independently of the local conference, yet who receive wonderful support of the whole conference administrative team. The conference provides a largely unused old house on the conference office property. And the Living Ministry Media team, under the leadership of Andrew and Yola Gangazic, refurbished that facility. This is a a wonderful volunteer team. The team has has so many skilled people on it. Camera operators, set designers, skilled uh, computer operators, editing professionals, they're all young people. Uh, That's before you even start to consider uh, the team that translates and records Big Picture and other material in American Samoa. Then there's me. Uh, I'm at the Somewhere down, down below, uh, I write a scripts and present big picture. It is such a privilege to be able to work as part of a young, vibrant volunteer team. These are a great group of people to work with. Well, Gary just pointed out something very important here, and that has to do with collaboration. So... If you are trying to build up your own media ministry, then be sure to work with others. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gary. And please tell my audience where they can find you apart from YouTube. Yeah, (laughs) a vital question. If you look on your screen now, you'll see the Living Ministry Media website address. This has links to YouTube, but most people seem to prefer to pick us up on Facebook. That address is also on the screen. Bless you, Kia. Thank you so much for your time, Gary, and also for your ministry with the big picture. And to all of you who are watching this video right now, please visit or check out Living Ministry Media and subscribe also to their YouTube channel. And also be sure to follow them in Facebook. Now, if you like this video, then hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next video.